Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. And Mitch. Real good at, at I, yeah, I did it again, didn't I? And <laughs> See? I told right. you. You know how hard it was to <laughs> not do that? Oh my god. For like, after playing it's super bad DS2 for so long. <laughs> it's so, so hard. Anyways, hello everyone. We are back from break. Welcome back to the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. This is session 45. Um, and we have just come back up out of Undermountain. The party yeah, is in uh, the Yawning Portal, and <laughs> Ashes, with Obaya's assistance, has have has just made it clear to Zam that Zam is aware something. Um, to which Zam screamed and fainted. I um, mean, there's a couple of like head turns and like what. While while okay. o, while he's passed out, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll I'll you know I'll talk to Obaya and be like, uh, is I don't I don't know if you could completely cure the curse. Back to be honest, back when I was at the order in the forest. We just dealt with all lichens outside the order with a little prejudice. It's uh, kind of By a new thing, thing says, learning. I'm not sure that's such a good idea, especially I, in the I'm, team. I'm, I'm learning that, and that's why I'm here. I don't want to do anything to this kid, but... I don't think it would be wise to just release a lycanthrope into the city, especially one that has, uh, and I'll kind of gesture to the unconscious pile in front of us, this kind of constitution. Yes. Um, did you oh. walk off alone with him? I mean... Kinda, but like you would have seen me I mean, go. You have now heard the scream and seen him faint. Oh. Like okay. that, at the very least, everyone has witnessed. Okay, if if I did hear that, I would have come over to kind of check up on things. See what was before. going on. Okay. Um, so I mean, Natasha well, approaches uh, the situation. What triggered that? Uh, Obaya, um, like, looks at Ashes and says, You want to feel this one? Right. Uh, look. I wasn't comfortable releasing an unknown lichen into the city. I'm trying to get, uh, see if Obaya could do something, and, uh, I didn't take the news too well. Um, Obaya chuckles. That. Ashes, I don't know a lot about this, but is there any cure for that condition? I mean, yeah, there's one, but you're not gonna <laughs> like it. Obaya kind of like narrows her eyebrows at it and she says, As far as I'm aware, it uh, depends on the person. Genetics, that is, if a person is born with it, be very difficult to get rid of. A person who is cursed with it later in life or contracts it can be a simpler matter, but the longer a person lives with the curse, the harder it is. And she kind of like looks at ashes when she. Uh, how old does Zam look? He looks like a young man. What, 20s? Probably. He's barely got, like, scrub, scruff on his face. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, um... Uh, he seems to be pretty, uh... Sensitive to the matter. Right, uh, and that, that's my concern. I, I think... What's happened with him is... He's probably had situations where he's turned, but 
he probably wasn't aware while he was turned. So he's Is just that simply a thing? aware. What? Is that a thing? Has that happened to you? Or people you I mean, know? It can happen. It hasn't happened to me. That you're aware of. That I'm aware. Aware of? <laughs> Stealing my oh, jokes. You love it. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. That's something that you would have heard about in the Order and probably even witnessed a time or two in the Order. That is a, a very common side effect of uh, wares that either lose control or they stay too long in their various forms or they just have bad reactions to something, etc. <clears throat> Um, uh, a wear can definitely kind of lose themselves to the other side and mm. not know about the transformation or what happens. Right. And those are the most dangerous. I'm a little nervous to ask, but how do you and your order usually handle people like Zan? Death. Well... I grew up in the city north of the forest and spent a lot of time in the forest. Major like all the lichens that we've dealt with let's just say weren't very civil. And we um we hunt them. We don't allow the curse to be spread willingly Obaya just like audibly sighs right and she says the dark past you have friend to hunt the cursed are cursed itself the irony is not lost you mistake my but meaning I'm... I do not talk about your wear ability Let's just say that my travels with my friends has, uh, showing me a, uh, an alternate path. Good. Uh, Bye. you said that it might be possible if it's not genetic? There are many different factors. I am not an expert, but I have seen and Do you heard know things. Uh, no, not here, unfortunately. If we were back home, Fort Nianzaru, then that would be a different matter. But here, I'm sure they exist, but they are unknown to me. I could attempt something, but I have no way of confirming whether it works or not. I'm, I'm willing to try. How much? He knows. The goddess does not work for free. <laughs> Joaquin. Of trade. This is no simple magic, you have. The price is 250 gold. Alright. Uh, um, Matt kind of claps ashes on the bag. I'll cover half of that for you. All right. I will deduce one twenty-five from. So you my... guys like legit just out money and pay Obaya right there. Yeah. yeah. She gives you a second to. Pull the money out, put it on the table. Counts through it real quick. Very good. Joaquin be praised. Let me begin. Um, and she takes a few moments. Um, Chants, there's a kind of glowing light that kind of well uh, ushers <clears throat> up over her. Um, and she puts her hands over Zam's unconscious form. Um, and Chants waves. And the light moves off of her and then kind of settles over Zam and then down into the body. And uh, afterwards she kind of like she breathes in deep and she says Alright. I am done. 
As I said, I can make no guarantees that this has worked. It is the best that I know to do. I mean, it'll... We it'll have to work. It. So at least a place to start. Ashes. Yeah. Your medallion stops humming. I inform at least the uh, the Matt and Obaya that that is the case. I think uh, I think it worked. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, Obaya, thank you. This this I don't think this could have turned out any better. No need for thanks. Service is rendered, friend. Though I will also say I am happy for the good. Um. Right. Um, listen, we're going to be in town for a few days. We did run across some things, so within those days we'll probably swing by to discuss, you know, maybe selling uh, some things that we found under the mountain. That would be wonderful. Please always consider me first when selling item. 100 By the way, Baya, uh, I don't know what your, if you have any peculiar taste in ale, but we might have found something pretty interesting if you want to stop by a troll skull. Darnan! Your oh, customers shit. are trying no, 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 no. to whisk me no, no, away no, no, no. to don't another tavern. <laughs> Shit. I run. <laughs> and Durden, Durden just kind of like grunts and goes, Ah, good luck getting them to move your plank ass. You sit there every day, over and over. I'm going to have to buy you a new chair, Obaya. I look at uh, the chair. Is it really worn? It's very worn, absolutely. <laughs> but then like again, the so is almost Obaya every chair in, in this fucking place. <laughs> like, you know, it's a it's a pretty frequented locale. Locale, so yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, the... I'll, I'll I'll uh, you know, kind of. Hey, hey Sam. Wake up. Wake up, Sam. Oh, 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 what happened? Why am I on the floor? You fainted again. You're not very good at standing. Oh my. I do ever so miss home. Speaking uh, of, you speaking said of... you had, uh... Where is home? You no, said you no. had somebody by the name of Abigail to look for? Yes. Abigail, uh, uh, she can help me. I'm sure of it. Do you know how to get in contact with her? Uh, An address, uh, uh, associates. No. Social security number. But the Filans are a very well-known family. Sh surely I can, I can get directions there easily enough. Do, are we okay with just like leaving this dude here to try to fend for himself? Or are we going to take him to the manor with us? Probably take him to the manor. All right, Zam, we would like to invite you to our tavern, and maybe from there we can start looking how to get a hold of uh, Abigail. Your for you. tavern, and and go to some seedy place. <laughs> What would Mother Leave think? Him here. Leave, Leave him here. Sir. You don't like him anymore. Yes. Leave him here. Look we at have the... found oh. you in a dungeon. I think you've been in seedier places. Yes, but there's no cause for me to go back. And there's okay. no cause for you to look down on us. Leave his ass. I leave. He, he <laughs> seems like... He seems a little confused, right? When you say that. Um, but then he says... I, I suppose I'm... I'd be being a bit rude. I'm not exactly a... 
These sorts of social encounters are a bit outside of my wheelhouse. I, um... Then I, I kind of, like, throw my arm around his shoulder and kind of ah! point towards the door. And I say, well, oh, no. a good time for you to learn. Oh, God! Go. Ah! And he kind of, <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he moves, but he kind of, like, does so in, like, frozen terror. Like, he he allows himself <laughs> to be ushered out of the building by Matashtai, and you're not I sure if kind of, like, look over to the other guys, I'm like... <laughs> he, he might think he's gonna die and just doesn't have the ability to respond to anything so as you all leave uh marta actually does uh approach and and uh excuse herself she uh once again says uh, thank you very much for my rescue i do appreciate it i do promise to look you up sometime but um i'm sure that i have some friends right well, it'll, it'll be I look forward to us meeting on better terms. <laughs> I I do as well. Uh, good luck with Right. Good luck with Gonna that. need it. Gonna need it. So Marta leaves. Pleasure, pleasure meeting you. Um boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. That's my other Really good elevator music, Jeremy. <laughs> um, nice. <clears throat> you all get a 450 experience wow. for the rescue and freeing of Marta Moonshadow. She was cool. I liked her. Yeah, she was nice. Bye, Bay. Bye-bye. We does not appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, Zam is in your <laughs> protective custody, basically. Um, Ochotu has already said that he is willing to travel with you. Um, and, a bunch of perverts. And, yeah, he's he's kind of, like, affronted Hold by on, that. Did but you he's still... can't get his name out? Huh? Uh, no, you have not. Uh, I think as, like, I feel like walking out, Matt would be like, wait a minute. <laughs> and turn to the Kenku and, uh, telepathically this time. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think I asked your name. The, so every time you speak into the Kenku's mind, there's this, <gasps> like, the Kenku is all of a sudden like, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but the Kenku responds audibly um to you and it's it, it kind of like like ruffles its feathers and flaps to kind of like to get attention um from everyone and it kind of like bows for a, a slight second and he goes well what you mean harold you telling me you ain't never heard a crocodile roar <laughs> all right so <laughs> Is his name Harold or Crocodile Roar? <laughs> Crocodile Roar is his name. Confirmed. <laughs> There's actually no way it's not. Anyway, so you find Bones outside uh, trying to get a party bus. <laughs> well, <laughs> trying to get a party <laughs> bus? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Harold. He kind of like shakes his head and ruffles his feathers. Crocodile roar. Nods. All right. Never mind. I mean, can't argue with man's name. Crocodile. Is it? Was it roar? Roar. Yeah. Crocodile roar. Crocodile roar. Crocodile roar. Okay. R a w r. Yep. Rar. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> it's awful. Okay. God, it's fucking. This is the early 2000s all over again. <laughs> so, uh, oh. so outside, bus or Bones is trying to get a bus, basically. Um, 
and there that are like people for just a car yeah there are large uh there are basically like these double decker carriages that do go around town they are uh, quite rare compared to the normal carriages or the little like uh half carts right um but you do flag one down they are five gold for uh renting them to go through the city so they are way steeper in price compared to a regular carriage ride. So you could just take two carriages. Yeah. You absolutely could just take multiple carriages. It would be cheaper. Because it's what two carriages or a quarter filled double decker. Yeah, we split the party via carriage. Okay, sure, sounds good. Um, uh, assuming that. <laughs> Assuming that nothing happens, right? That you guys aren't trying to achieve anything on your journey. Um, you spend the two two shards, one for each carriage, um, and you head up yeah. through the um, through the high road. Uh, through the high road. Through the high road. Through the high road. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been on Waterdeep uh, map, actually. Right. So you head up through. The high road and to the north ward, and uh, eventually make your way back safe and sound to home um, in the city of uh, Waterdeep. You make it back to Troll Skull Alley. The by the way, as you're traveling about, right? It's uh, it's about midday. You guys have come up out of uh, of the of the dungeon at about midday, and um, I detour the wagon. Say what? I detour the okay, carriages. detours the wagon. Um, the before that, the the mood throughout the city, right, is kind of dour and forlorn. It's cold, um, and it's uh, there was a recent snow, but it's not quite. It's not really snowy right now. Um, but there's kind of like slush around here or there, um, muddy streets, that type of thing. Um, and just the the atmosphere of the whole city is just very dour, and you start to notice um, little things here or there, like some great bonfires being made, like not lit, but made in some of the city squares, um, and a, a bunch of people basically like being very standoffish. Um, is there anything distinguishing the people that are standoffish? Uh, it's are basically everyone. Like it's being very. Or... It, most okay. people are being. I'll say. I'll say this. Most of the people that are more standoffish tend to be older population, right? But everyone Fucking in the city birds. kind of has like a dour mood and is a little like distanced at the moment. Um, can I, can I roll like an insight or something to kind of like. Is that specific to the season? Uh, you can roll or, an insight, sure. Yeah, or if that's like an event that has happened recently. Yeah. Good. Okay. Shablam. Shabubblam. Um. Okay. So twelve. Uh. Not, no. It is. Oh, 19. it is. It is nineteen. Oh, right. Because you're. Yep. Uh, that's your thing. Send. Okay. So better. Um, actually, I think with a 19, you're probably going to just pretty much on the nose it. Um, you don't My really know the, glamour. yeah, you don't I really know the reason why necessarily. Oh, I'm going to forget it every time. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> like, let's be honest. Um, but you, so you don't really know why necessarily, but you kind of piece two and two together. Um, it's probably related to the Feast of the Moon. And you hear, you remember something a little bit in the back of your mind, right? Um, from the brief time that you spent um, with your friends at the Temple of Kelimbor, right? Um, and that is that... The city has a pretty dark history with the dead. Um, and when the Lord of Bones ruled, it was a, the Feast of the Dead was a, uh, the, the, or as, what, what was it called? Um, it would have been called, let me check this real quick. Hmm. 
it would have been called The Day the Dead Are Most With Us. Um, and that's that's from a time when Merkel reigned um, as the Lord of Bones. And that's not a fond memory for Waterdeep. Those those were some bad times. Um, and so that's... is it a celebration of so it's a... his leaving? Or is it a celebration of the dead who are lost at his time? So... This is this time period. This festival, right? Is a, it's a bunch and of different. By the things. way, Matt would be happy to ask this of someone. So I think like, I think if... at this point, right? You probably know a little bit about this, but then a conversation probably starts up with the different people in your carriage, um, etc. And and so you all kind of like have this little discussion. But it's basically um, Ezra probably knows a fair amount of history to be able to add into the to mix, is that. The, the Feast of the Moon is a very different thing for a lot of different cities and cultures and peoples and religions, right? Um, for some people, it's a very good celebration, right? It's a, it's a celebration of the dead and honoring them. Um, it's a <clears throat> celebration of the follow, fallen. It's a um, remembering your ancestors, things like that. And for other people, it's a very dark day. For the dark powers... Um, it is, it's viewed as a day when the veal, the veil is at its thinnest. Um, and they take advantage of that. Uh, the followers of Shar, for example, they make ritual sacrifices to breach the veil and bring darkness into the world. So it's a very different thing for a lot of different people in a lot of different areas. Waterdeep has a particularly dark history with some of the things. Uh, or some of these things. It's kind of it's kind of in a so Merkel used to be the Lord of the Dead, right? Or the Lord of Bones. Um and now it's Kelimvor's job, right? So he's taken over. So it's kind of this uh, scenario um of the city is trying to move on and get past, but it still has a lot of these old customs dealing with the time of Merkel. And that's what the dour mood in the city is right now. Okay. It's the season. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think a lot of that would start to kind of rub off on Matt. And you okay. would start to kind of feel a little sad and a little bit kind of run down from the, the overall feeling of the city. Sure. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind moving forward. Ezra detours the carriage that he is in, and where uh, I, where are we going? I need scribing materials to get to work. Okay, not so in, you, not, I'm not in that one. <laughs> so it, I mean, that's not a that's not a <laughs> difficult not that carriage. That's not the a difficult first, task. The first half of tonight was Mitch and Jay doing their thing. The rest of tonight is just me and Bones, just bam, 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 bam. That is not a difficult task. Uh, so. How much are you, what are you looking to buy and how much? 500 gold of uh, scribing materials. Okay. So, the... so that's the inks and the parchment and everything like that? Okay. So, yeah, you're, there are a number of different locations throughout the city of Waterdeep. And obviously you're looking for uh, specific, you're looking for goods that are specific to the nature of, um, spells right so it's not quite as the same as just going into a because there are there are tons of places that are basically just like office depot that just sell the the supplies for all of the different businesses <laughs> in water deep right um but most of those don't carry magic inks and treated vellums and things like that and, um, and i've bought it before so i kind of have yeah. an idea of but the the go. fact the the well establishment of the order of mages and protectors and things like that means that the city is well stocked and supplied with this type of thing so you have zero trouble finding a place to stop in on the way um 500 gold is kind of a hefty sum for a single purchase for some of these people but they don't really like freak out or bat an eye or anything like that you don't have to like go through a process they're just like oh wow you're really laying it down today okay sure yeah let us get those materials for you oh yeah you know this is happening <laughs> like holy crap you're laying it down. <laughs> right so so they uh so they go through that whole process and uh you walk away 500 gold poorer but you got your shit so there you go. Now, now I'm good. 
All right, cool. So uh, eventually, this doesn't take long. That probably takes like 30 minutes to stop off and grab stuff. So the first carriage arrives at Troll Skull Manor, and then the second carriage gets there. Um, and then you guys are ready to go. So you make it back home. Ooh, a little loud. Ooh, we got we got we got new Troll Skull music. We've got a flautist now. I'm trying out a couple of new things. I don't want to keep everything stale. You know? Okay, oh, step one. Moved. Drop off my mark and ale. Okay, bags 400 pounds lighter. <laughs> okay, so so you, oh, you offload... All of the money at him. You offload two, all of this. Except money. <laughs> and and there's just this like oh my god like Cine Cine welcomes you all back right you know the Cine, the tavern is bustling it's 400 and pounds. it's like oh my god right so they uh between between because none of them can do it alone between Cine Threnarv and uh, Adulon they bear, they bring in Adulon to to try to like wrestle the barrel and and get it all down um, they, do. they uh the fortunately. Whoa. Your your cellar is equipped to handle a a barrel of this size or a keg of this size. They get it all down. They get it all scenario. And um, Sine basically comes and he's like, "Uh, well, sirs, uh, what exactly did you want us to to do with that? What is that? What what are we doing? What is that? A, is this a thing now? What's happening here? <laughs> it's always a thing. I leave that to other people. I have things to do." <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'll step up. So, sure. This yes is ale that we found in under mountain in a dungeon. With you brought seal. me ale from a dungeon. I did oh I from a so from a place where drink there it. are rats. Shut, shut your face and, and drink it. Force it it down been, okay, so so there's a, a a moment, right? A couple minutes pass as as uh, uh, they basically like treat. They tap the thing and they pour out a little bit. Basically, they pour it out into a smaller, some of it out into a smaller keg, and then they uh, reseal the current barrel. Um, and they bring a keg uh, a keg up, and lift goes through the process of um, pouring a couple of very small like taster glasses. Um, and Cine drinks it, and his eyes kind of, like, widen. Goes, eh? Eh? All right, here's the question. What are we calling it? How much are we charging for it? And are you bringing more? Yes, y'all decide. Anastas, you're with me. And I walk out. <laughs> okay, so Anastas is like, what, um... <laughs> Uh, Cine, no, I'll, I'll be back to finish my set in a little bit, and he or they follow Bones out. So, you told us the name, but I don't remember if you told the players, or if we as Malarkin Ale. Do we yeah. know it's Malarkin Ale? I, I, so, the Malarkins were the Malarkin. dwarves that ruled Under Mountain. Okay. Do so, we still have... Is, is our theme still spirits and Yes. Ghosts and stuff. Yes. So let's let's roll into that. Uh, the Dead dwarf. Ancest ancestral brew. Dead dwarf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good theme. <laughs> oh. But like, what about something like ancestral brew? Brew or like uh uh. All uh I got. Actually, sirs, we, we <laughs> might take some time to think about the name, but I, I did want to talk to you. Um, I, I hope this is okay, but I took the liberty of giving uh, the staff the evening off tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be open for breakfast and for lunch. Obviously, people still need to be fed, but I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Probably not the best thing to have our particular establishment, especially with our theming, open tomorrow in full celebration mode. If you understand my meaning. That is a good call. I'll be honest, oh, see, I don't know shit about running a tavern, so if you think it's right, oh, well, 
The North Ward can be a little persnickety. It has a... Well, there are a lot of people who carry the old traditions here. And, um, let's just say it's not exactly... The Feast of the Moon isn't exactly well-received. If we were to be carousing and having our normal nights with singing and dancing and drinks, I'm not sure the community would appreciate it. Could we do something respectful to... Well, that's... Maybe... I definitely think we stay open, as I said, for meals. People still work. They still need to be fed. Um, but as long as we keep the, uh, the normal levels of excitement low. I appreciate your input. I mean, we, we definitely wanna, don't want to step on anybody's toes or offend anybody, so... At your discretion, yeah, that, I think that's... We should be respectful of the, the city. I think that's a good plan. All right, well... Uh, you said that's tomorrow night? Uh, that's, yes. Tomorrow is the Feast of the Moon. Okay. Oh, is that the um, first or the second? It's the it. It's not a day. The feast of it's the moon the is zero, in between the thirtieth and the first. It's a oh, so it's we're a. Still on the thirtieth. Yeah, oh, you guys also, are on the thirtieth right now. It's in between the the thirtieth and the first. It's its own separate understood. day. Understood. Yep. Just in case we didn't answer this. Yes, we're bringing a lot more of that. What? There's All just right. a fucking extra day. Yes. It's just like. They do that yeah, with their. Air. They do their yep. that with their holidays. They a lot of their holidays interject it's in between months. Yeah, they are I singular see. days on their own. Is Haldown still the eleventh, or does Haldown is 10th? still the eleventh? Or is it ten Haldown eleven? No, it's it is still the eleventh. Huh. It's I a think. weird mix. Don't get me wrong. It's a weird mix, but that's how they do it. Anyways, um, so. There is a uh, scene uh, goes back and forth, right? And, and is, uh, but they'll, that whole scenario we can take care of a, at a later date. Scene tosses ideas back and forth, spitballs some things with you guys, right? Of, of, oh, how much should we charge about this or charge for this? Or, oh, you know, what, uh, oh, oh, uh, Ezra, sir, sir, um, you, you got a, uh, letter, sir. um, in this morning. Uh, you weren't here. I, I held on to it. Um, but it's uh, okay. it's got a seal on it. Um, looks like a. Check this. Uh, you don't get a seal, but the seal looks like a little uh, like a dragon, basically. Um, pressed into purple wax. Okay. Do I recognize it? Um, yeah, you probably recognize it. It's, uh, it's a pretty common, uh, seal that Mert uses. Um, so, Ezra, Ezra gets this. Ezra, there should you should have a player's handout tab. There should be a little uh, tab in there for messages. Messages. Oh, huh? Yeah, it's not exactly like it's like gonna be a pain in the ass to read through. So I'm gonna leave you with that for a second. Okay, while we deal with other stuff, we'll come back to you. And um, uh, if you want to, once you've digested that, we can we can discuss it from there. And if you want to talk to it, talk to the other players about it, um, we can go from there. Okay. So while that is happening, um, Bones, you took Anastas outside. What's going on there? All right, I give Anastas three hundred gold. And I say Anastas, I need a gem, fairly large. Um, and you should kill a man. <laughs> also kill three people. <laughs> a gem? 
Yeah, yeah. Emerald, uh, opal, aquamarine, any of those watery ones. I, I open the chest and be you like, mean, you mean specifically frozen ones or what? something, right? Of this, yeah. of this price. I mean, it really only needs to be a hundred gold. But do you have I time? Would... I know who like you need to second? speak to. You need to talk to Agatha. Kind of why I pulled you. I mean, I can do it for you if you want me to. I will go and speak to them. Show me, show me the way. Give me a three hundred gold bag. <laughs> okay, let's go. Could have given me a tip, but fine. So terse. I give him ten gold. <laughs> I mean, you them. Okay. Uh, no, I get sorry. I get them ten gold. Well, it's not like it's not like we talk with Anastas a whole lot, so you know, I, forget. I I forget myself all the time. Um, so Anastas takes you not very far away, actually. Anastas takes you down. Troll Skull Alley, across Del Zoran Street, um, and down uh, Brondars Way, and there's a little park, um, and there's this little weird. Uh, it's it's a hovel. Let's be honest. Like compared to that, the buildings around it, it looks like a weird out of. Pl- it's that it's that weird out of person's uh, house that's kind of like a shack, and it's full of like statuary and stuff like that in the middle of like a nice city. You know what I'm talking about? It's oh, it's that oh. style of building, right? And Anastas takes you right up to it um, and kind of gestures. This is Agatha's. Um, she's a bit... Um, well, she's a bit interesting, but she deals in um, rare gems. Okay, cool. But you want to go in? Yeah. She's probably home. Absolutely. Sure, yeah. let's do it. So, so Anastas uh, walks up and kind of knocks on the door. Agatha! Agatha, are you in? Right, and there's this. Are you you're friends with Agatha? I, well, I am i don't know that I would say friends, but uh, I have Good. purchased uh, from her on a number of occasions. Um, so, oh, um, she probably... When you're talking with her, right? Mm-hmm. Don't confirm anything except for what you mean exactly. And <laughs> after the, uh, after they say that, after Anasta oh, says that, idea. the door k- clicks and <laughs> opens. And you hear this, ah. Come in, young. So nice to see you. Um, it feels cold on this doorstep. Okay, so she's 100% a wraith. That's a big yikes for me, dog. So, what happens? Bones? Yeah, go in. Okay, so you go in. Um, and you, so this, uh, it looks nicer really on the inside than it does on the outside. Uh, it's very cramped. There's a lot of knickknacks. It's like walking into a, a creepy old person's house, but everything's like darker. And instead of like precious moments, it's like voodoo dolls, right? Um, but the shelf, there are shelves everywhere. There are dressers everywhere. There's boxes everywhere. Everything's lined. Everything's filled. There's no like empty space anywhere. And you got this little hallway that um, goes through the place, and then you have a little side room. And it's like a little living room. You can see uh, out a window from it. And mm-hmm. in the far corner of this is this hulking old woman, like twice the size of ashes. Just wow. Yoshi B. <laughs> She's like thick with like four C's. Just like very creepily wa- rocking back and forth. Right? It is freezing cold in here. Okay? And okay. uh and this old lady goes, Ah Anastas. It's been some time since I've seen you. You brought a friend. A new customer, I hope. Hmm. 
Oh, and Anastas kind of like beer. is standing back behind you and goes, uh, yep, yep. <laughs> and kind of like just pushes your back just ever so slightly. <laughs> Just like your turn. I feel like they're not really keen on speaking in full sentences for some reason. Okay, whatever. I walk forward. Hey, I'm Bones. Ah, I am Agatha. It is a pleasure, Bones. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Well, Anastas tells me you have, um, an eye for gems. Oh, my favorite, yes. I keep many such specimen. And she literally, like, reaches into a pocket and pulls out a badass ruby. Just, like, mm. cut. Very, very brilliant. Just, like, cut pull, into two great ass. Pops it out, just like <laughs> a big ass fucking ruby. And she goes, ah, yes. <laughs> And puts it back ah, into her pocket. A nice gem. <laughs> Not exactly what I'm looking for. Do tell me what it is you want. Um, I'm looking for a gem. Yay big. You know. Something more attuned with some cold. Ah, I'm very familiar. And as you say this, you see her breath visibly kind of like do the puff of like frost in front of her face. Yes, I, I see that. I thought she would be. Right. Um, Is it colder outside or colder inside in here? It's way colder, inside. colder inside. It's super fucking cold inside this inside this building. Um, so she says, "Go." Hmm. Something more like this and she pulls uh she reaches like down into folds because like she's a big woman so she just like reaches into a pocket and her hand just dis oh, disappears a pack, right? a pack, and she kind of okay. like pulls out um almost kind of like a teardrop shaped um mm -hmm. gem and it is just this deep deep blue um but it's a little off like there's there's some um, it has a weird refraction in it. And as she pulls it out, right, she uh, she kind of like pulls it up and looks. Iolites. The very essence of cold. And as she does, she kind of like breathes across it and it kind of like frost crystals form on it. <laughs> Do you want this? Depends. On what? Well, let me look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He holds out her hand and lets you, like, inspect the gem. I look at it. I don't know anything about gems. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. don't. You don't know anything about gems, but uh, you. It it's looks. Just, it's hefty. It looks, it looks valuable. Nice. Right. Yeah. Sure. How much is this one? This is. Hmm. One soul. Anastas? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a first-time customer. A discount. Incentive for repeat business. A hundred and seventy-five gold. Mm. I'll look at it again. Hmm. 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 Might be a little much for my purposes. You seem uncertain. Tell me, what are these purposes? I'm making something. Oh? Do you not wish it to be the best it can be? 
I'm not sure that matters. I'll give you 150. Ah. He bargain. Interesting. Hmm. Roll me a persuasion check. Oh, which one of these is my sheet? Okay. No, holy one. shit, which one of these is my sheet? <laughs> I have a couple things open. Uh, normal persuasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I rolled. It looks oh, bad. No. It's a three. <laughs> oh, no. Um... Set so on that 19 Ag for a second. Agita says, ah, That is what it is. A hard bargain, but one I think I'll not take. I know the worth of the gem, and I'm already being generous. 175, or we can discuss something. What's the uh, worth that you know, huh? The worth? Have you ever seen a white dragon cry? No. This Iolite has. Fair enough, 175. Okay. <laughs> there is a, an exchange. Um, 175 so gold for 15 a... platinum. For an Iolite. And you walk away with a uh, pretty... And so as as you kind of like heft the gem, Seven, right? That fits in the palm of your hand. Yeah. Okay. And um, it stays very cold to the touch. Okay. Nice. That's a good ass gem right there. All right, cool. Um, all right, good job, Anastas. I like this. This is a, this is good work. This is good work. Um, I did good, you right? Know anyone... Right, Agata? Yeah. And Agata says, "Yes, you did." <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. That's just, um, a little disturbing. Um, now I need a... We're still early in the day, right? Like noon. Yeah, you're ish. still early in the day. You can go around shopping yeah, yeah, and doing yeah, things. Yeah. Okay, now I need a leather worker. I don't remember. Did Embrick and... What is, what's her other name? Abby? Uh, Avi. Embrick and Avi. Yeah. Did they ever sell any leather stuff? Uh, no. <laughs> they deal... They're, they're metal workers. They deal... Okay, oh, metal worker. Okay. Yeah, they deal Did, in... Um, I want to say they studded... A leather for one of us. They worked. Yeah, they basically metal. outsourced things. They said that oh. they were just being nice, trying to keep your business, basically. Oh. All right, Anastas, you know any good leather workers? Uh, not off the top of my head. All right, cool. Appreciate you. I'm gonna head to the guild. You can do whatever you want. All right. Guess I'll head back to the manor. I will, Appreciate uh, your help. No problem. Good luck. They split. Thanks. You go about your business. Um, so, meanwhile, um, Ashes, Matashtai, anything happening at the manor? Uh, By the way, this absolutely, we're kind of like entering that downtime period. So, if you guys just want to bop, 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 bop through things, we can. If you want to have roleplay sections, we can also do that. Um, well, I know you guys kind of had planned a, a extended stay up here, right? So, honestly, I, the thing I'm most concerned of right now is to make sure the people that we brought up with us are squared away. Okay. So that's actually my priority too. Right. Um, I want to make sure that that Zam and Crocodile Roar and uh, <laughs> uh, God, I, I just forgot the lizard man's name. Uh, Ochotu. Otoku? Ochotu. Yeah, Ochotu. Ochito. Ochito. Okay. Ochotu. So. That, um, that, that, that we get them in yeah, a situation where they know that they're going to be, like, taken care of or something. 
Um, so with Zam, what do you guys do? Do you like hold on to him? Well, here's the thing, right? He says he, he was able to give us the name, the first and last name of somebody. It was Abby or Abigail. Abigail of a Filand. Yeah, Filand, right? Um, I would see if I could like get a message sent, like write on a message, so that we have. Are you are you being like open about this, or are you being cagey? Yeah, yeah. There's, I don't think there's anywhere he's going to be secreted. And then once you are at the bar, it is very quick. As soon as you start talking about this, um, a number of individuals, but Cena probably primarily, will say, "Oh, the Filans. You're looking for the Filans estate. Right. They're they're a very well known noble house. Uh, which." ward are they in um i believe they're uh in the southern tip of the north ward um they're closer towards the market honestly oh that's not far from here that's not too far no i mean you could southern ask any driver and they could take you to the estate directly do do we, do we want to ask for zam or do you want to just send him on his way or what, Matt? I kind of want to escort him because I feel like he'll see a rat and go running down the street. Okay. So, uh, Matash, I take some time to escort? To go, oh, okay. I, I think I'd also go with him because I just want to make sure that until he leaves my sight, I want to know that the whatever Obaya did is sticking, okay. right? So Matashtai and Ashes, uh, Crocodile Roar and Ochotu kind of settle into the bar. They get drinks. They meet people, talk to people, etc. Um, you two head out to um, take Zam to the file and estate and see how that goes. Ezra, have you digested your missive? Are you ready to? Do you want to talk about that at all? Do you want to share any information with the party, or what do you want to do from there? I sent you a ping to confirm a piece of script that I had a difficult time deciphering. Yeah, you are reading those correctly. Okay. Um, I would wait until we have private time. Until there everyone's are... kind of like reconvened yeah. back tonight yeah. or something like that? Yeah, okay. there, there are many ears. I, I will hold on to it. Sure. Sounds good. And I will take my parchment and begin to spend the, I think it is 20 hours to build my ritual. <laughs> okay. That, that might take a little bit. So, so do you have it in chunks? Do you know, like, uh, so you probably have, it's probably mid afternoon now. Do you have anything that you want to try to complete today? As far no, as things no. go, my, my goal, my first, my, my, Prime directive right now is to get this ritual book up and running. Okay. So the the seven spells that I have scrolls for on hand. Chop them out in in the order you want to do them for me. You don't you don't have to tell me. Just like uh, write them down and PM them to me or something real quick. In case there's like breakups in the task, that way we can be like it, just assuming right in case because this might take a day or two to go through. And if something happens tomorrow, we, we need to know which ones you've already done, you know? So, but but we move along from there. Uh, uh, point, point of inquiry, because yes. it's going to be easier than PMing you. I get the two free ones. Sure. Do, uh, I'm assuming those still take the two hours apiece to add. Oh, yeah, yeah, add. yeah. Yeah. Or do, uh, do those have to be the first ones? or can No, they don't have to be the first ones. No, cool. absolutely not. All right, you know, I just realized right as I was saying goodbye to Anastas that lizard folk are pretty good at making stuff. So I'm going to go back. I'm going I'm to ask a show. Wait, are they? Okay, sure. Um, yes, so you head are. back to the bar with uh, a Chotu or with Anastas and then find a Chotu and sit down and have a conversation with uh, him. Um, yes. Uh, it has been some time since I held tools in hand, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I made most of what I used, much of what my tribe used as well. 
Mm -hmm. So you could turn. I put an undisclosed item on the table. You could ah. turn these into. You think you can leather? Put, you turn these you into have leather? the discussion. So I I know what you're talking about. You have, I the have discussion. The discussion. With them. You know what I want. I um, have the discussion. And yeah. So o Ochotu says uh, yes. I believe I can do what you're asking. I would need Sounds space um, and tools. Okay. Yeah, we we have a basement, and I don't know. If, if we have a backyard if you want outside. Outside sounds pleasant. I also like working outside. Let's go get you some tools. Okay. Um, so heading out to get tools is basically uh, that'll cost you twenty five gold to basically get a kit of all the yeah, different sure. type of stuff that he would need or want to potentially use right yeah um uh so you can set him up outside out back and uh at least get the man a drink sure. <laughs> i mean he's drinking and eating okay. you know? yeah okay so that's happening okay. or woman didn't achotu achotu is uh he i mean a female lizard folk could talk like this i suppose i i, I okay. assume who knows so we have that process going. Yep. So, and wow. Ochotu, uh, probably for what your... So this is going to be a part of the time spent for the item, right? Yeah, part of the, my, my two points. Part of your time, yeah. So Ochotu probably tells you a day to get that all I kind of figured I would let him like skin it and do his stuff, and then I would start my part with the bones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So his, his will account for a day of the time. Um, and he's probably gonna like getting getting into it will probably be a little later because it does take a, like an, a little bit of time to go yeah, get him like tools and get him set up. And... Yeah, yeah. So he's got to figure out what he's gonna do. So basically, he'll probably all tomorrow he'll be able to work on it and get it pretty much done. That type of thing. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Um, and, and we don't have to go in any particular order as we address people or move back and forth. Um, I'll say Ashes and Matashtai. Um, it doesn't take you very long to get Zam over to the Phyland estate. Um, and once there, uh, Zam doesn't know his way around the place or anything like that. And it's a, it's an enclosed estate. So you guys kind of have to like knock on the gate, right? Yeah. Um, and there's a uh, there's a brief exchange right with some guards that are there, and um, Zam says, "Oh, um, well, uh, I'm Zam. Um, I can't remember his fucking last name. What's his last name? I don't think we ever big big Zam. <laughs> Zam. No, um, it is Zam. I had him down here, didn't I?" I don't want to look at my notes because that means uh, opening another of 50,000 pages. So I'm just going to... probably make everything crash. Zam Casifax. He introduces himself as Zam Casifax. That doesn't really mean anything to the guards. But, I mean, they they do this type of thing all the time. But they One of them heads up into the estate, um, is gone for like five or ten minutes, um, and then actually comes back like looking kind of surprised and says, uh, the lady... Island will see you. And they open the gate and take him in. Are you guys going to try to, like, go with him? I mean, I mean is, uh, I did, I, I'm, I'm unsure of the social etiquette here to a zam kind of turns and she says oh oh don't don't worry i'm sure everything will be fine now abigail abigail and i were great friends when we were younger oh it's so good to be oh not to be rude matashtai it's just it's nice to be back more where i'm used to as you will okie dokie okay it was Nice meeting you. Okay. Bye. He leaves. Walk off. Uh, the deed is done. Wonderful. Okay. Um. This, this All of a sudden, a... you hear. Ah! 
the thing. Um, you all gain. You all gain 300 experience for rescuing Zam, and the headline wow. tomorrow does not read Massacre on the Phyland Estate. Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow, you know what? I am... I, I feel... Wow. Very vindicated in my decisions. Yeah. I don't I don't normally give you guys premonitions of the future, but I think in in That's that insane, instance it was That's warranted. It's so vindicating. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, dope. Honestly, like it still would have been like a little fucked up if I killed this kid despite the fact he is clearly like not a bad kid, innocent, not a threat, but he was a lycan. Had he died and that entire estate full of people survived, still would have felt justified. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But had you killed him, you never would have known. Yeah. Well, that I, I, I would not have said I at that point. the peak. Yeah. Behind the veil. That, that felt good. Yep. Yeah, that felt, that felt, that felt good. All right, so uh, Ashes and Matashai, do you have anything uh, you guys are wanting to do while you're out, or do you eventually return to the uh, uh, Let's see. Today? Um, it's you know? daytime still, right? Uh, yeah, it's mid-afternoon. I mean, I could maybe look up uh, two strings, or is it three strings, and see three if strings. he would... Uh, yeah and see if he would be able to be if he was free for a lesson today because uh, it's sure. midday right yeah you could absolutely go and do a uh work day with him perfectly fine so if you want to do that uh go ahead and check that off what are you up to now uh you're, and you're basically done for the rest of the day yeah that that would be it that puts me to five out of ten on hey, my harpsichord training. you're getting there you're getting there. there all right to cool, the cool, cool. <laughs> So, uh, you're doing harpsichord practice, uh, Ezra is scribing the rest of the day away, um, Matashtai, are you doing anything in particular? Um, I can't think of anything specific today, like, I have a lot of stuff that needs to be identified, but I think, uh, Ezra needs some time. Ezra's working that. on that, I think, yeah. So, um... I think I'd probably just, you know, take it easy. Maybe hang out at the... It's actually at, take a little bit of an R&R &R day? Like, holy yeah, shit. Hang out, hang out at the Yawning Portal, sure. coffee, drink, chat with people. That Absolutely. definitely isn't the first thing I'm scribing. Right. <laughs> Bones, do you have something next on your list for the rest of the day? No, I have. I need to work on things. Okay. Um, so do you, are you taking a work day on anything? Or are you... Yes. Okay, so you're taking a work day? Okay, gotcha. All right. Which day is this? Is this the first day? This is the 30th. The day we just came out, yeah. I'm the day you day. just came out, yeah. Okay, so... Once once all of that's taken care of, and right, you're, you're, you're out of the... You're out of the dungeon, you're back, you take care of a, a couple of different things here or there. Um... A grand malaise falls across the city of the night on the night before the Feast of the Moon. Though this day is now known through the priests of Kelimvor as the Deeds of the Dead, the City of Splendors has bad memories of a time when this hollowed day was known more commonly by another name, the day the dead are most with us. From a time when Merkel once held great sway within the city. Though the heralds still sing the blood song on this day, many of the citizens spend it using ancient methods to ward away the spirits, and worse. Great pyres are built around the city in central squares to keep the spirits to the paths of darkness. Even members of the city guard participate in some of the old rites, with members posing as Dullahan at the gates of the city, 
rejecting entry and exit except for only the most dire of circumstances. Throughout the city, older folk wear skull masks, horrid visages meant to shock or frighten the spirits themselves. Many organizations are on high alert, watchful of any activity conducted in the name of Dark Gods. For though Merkel's name is no longer touted here, there are others that still bend the veil to their whims. Worshippers of Shar, for instance, call this day the Rising of the Dark and practice ritual sacrifice to deepen the shadow. Though the mood throughout the city is sullen, there is a new movement gaining acceptance for this day. A group of younger citizens, unaffiliated by religion or faction, have begun holding small festivities in the City of the Dead. These have grown each successive year, to the point to where a small carnival takes place on the day of the feast. There seems little rhyme or reason to this event, with participants usually touting they're just trying to bring a little more life to the dead, and honoring the veil the same time. So, um, that evening, the evening of the 30th, as you all kind of like reconvene together, um, uh, Sine kind of mentions things to you. Sine has already talked to you kind of about the plan for tomorrow and the tavern as a whole, right? Mm -hmm. Quick question. Yes. I'm, I'm assuming this means I have stopped my scribing for the evening. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 would we say I've got eight hours of work in? Uh, yeah, you would have been able to get about eight, sure. All right, so I got my first four done. Okay. Awesome, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Good shit. So, um, so Cine, um, kind of talks to you all about a little bit, and you so I've already described a number of these things. You guys have seen this throughout the city. You've seen some of the things going on. Uh, but I think the new information is that Cine actually probably tells you about this little carnival that happens uh during the evening uh well uh afternoon to evening on the feast of the moon and cine asks if you have any interest oh well i sounds like i know yes not <laughs> sirs I'm interested. Okay, my task. I, 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 I'm kind of busy. I, I interest in knowledge and learning new things is always great. But I mean, I, I've got a full plate. I, I just, I, I don't know if I've got enough time to, um, uh, to, to, to sure. that in right now. And I, I just, uh, uh, oh, oh, yep, yep, sorry, I'm just. Yeah. Ezra, I mean, you sound a bit stressed. Maybe some I, I, time I, off would help you. So, but, but, but by no means but, do. I, I, I just. Uh, we're gonna have to go back in, and I, I need to be ready. And it, it just it, there's a lot down there. I just I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. It, 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 oh, it, 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 there were drow and, and hobgoblins, and oh my, it, it was it was crazy. And and you know the Sargoth layer, we've got to go deal with the Centaurum. And it just, uh, whew, hi. It, 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 he's got to try to one up Sam now. Are you going to be okay, oh, Lord, sir? Be coming. I I I I'm. To be determined. <laughs> right. Well. But you have fun. Just figured I would mention it. I, uh, well, I, I will be busy most of the day, but I might stop in in the evening. It can be fun. It's a nice change of pace. Uh, some of the games are actually quite uh, enjoyable, too, if you're into that sort of thing. But, uh, I just thought I'd mention it. We live in dark I'd like times. To, I'd like to attend. I would like to learn things about the city I live in. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not sure you'll learn much aside from uh, belching and the smell of beer and pot pies and uh, I guess if you like throwing knives at boards that'll probably be a thing all of these things appeal to my interests <laughs> well it feels it like uh, bad. it feels like sometimes we get a little involved in the thick of things 
you when all is this special? Again? Is this Jeez. this is happening tomorrow? Yeah, it's the, it's a festival tomorrow that happens in the city of okay. the dead. I will say, I do want to make a point of stopping by the Temple of Kelimvor now that I understand what tomorrow is. Yeah. Because it seems like it'd be a rather important day to them. Sure. Sounds good. All right, so that's all. Cine just talks about that, and, um, you know, right, you guys, uh, there's food. Um, eventually, uh, 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 Ochotu kind of, like, asks about uh, is there any chance of having a board or a place I could stay for the evening. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, plenty of beds upstairs. Whereas, uh, it eventually, kind of, like, it... It, throughout the you know because it gets kind of raucous um here in in the evening um eventually crocodile roar disappears um oh he leaves there's a there's oh. a time period right they he's very uh involved and animated and bouncing around and having conversations here or there right but there's uh a, a, Eventually, you guys just uh, look around and you realize you haven't seen him for a little bit of time, and you don't see him again. Bummer. Well, I'm assuming he's uh, he there goes what he's the best NPC we've ever met, and just like leaves in the wind. If you okay. Hear, if you listen closely, you can hear off in the distance. Crocodile roar. Heard a crocodile roar. That's the point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Okay. Um. So I think kind of to round things out, Jake, Ezra. Hello. You had a. Uh, it is now evening. Your friends Jake are Ezra. now back. And you eventually have a uh, moment where where you all begin to retire, right? Um, so would you like to discuss what you have been given? Is it just the four of us? It's just with, the four with, of you. It may, maybe our, our paid help at, yeah, yeah. at the work. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, you guys are private now. Okay. Uh, so I would pull out the missive that was handed before. What's it, a bag of holding? That was uh, really uh, given? <laughs> I, I, that would be nice. Um, uh, unfortunately, not. Um, so Mert sent a, a, a piece of information. He refers to the uh, uh, individual that we um, presented to him. Oh. If you rem remember the uh, the individuals who collected the the, the um, person in question, uh, the, uh, the mage. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, uh, name names probably not meant to be said due to the import. Then he uh, shall be referred to as Voldemort. the mage. I think it's oh. Voldemort. Sure, sure. <laughs> I like Voldemort better. <laughs> I think we stick with Voldemort. Yeah. Or... Uh, regardless, he he does note uh, in here that. Uh, uh, Voldemort's mind does seem to be uh, that uh, uh, half useless, but but half useful. Uh, he notes a a, uh, a piece of vegetation that is corrupting the weave. Uh, I, I assume it's having some sort of an impact on the the, the magical bindings in the the, the uh, at, at least in the undermountain. Uh, but um, uh, he, he makes note of that. So if we see anything of that uh, particular element, I, I would like to take some time to investigate that and hopefully give some more information. Uh, uh, the the other thing he does note is. Uh, uh, from from Voldemort's uh, uh, interviews, uh, he, he uh, uh, continued to to route around a couple of terms, uh, uh, two 
maybe locations. I, I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, one referred to as the Mad Goth's Castle. And the, the uh, uh, Mad Goth. Mad Goth. L- l- like uh, the eyeliner and pale. And <laughs> yeah, they have those bad. in Waterdeep. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we all went to high school. Thanks, Ezra. Yep. 100%. <laughs> 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 and, and the other is referred to as the uh, the shadow in the giant's mind. Um, the, these were reoccurring concepts and likely hold some bearing. Uh, uh, remember that Voldemort was a uh, 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 a trusted student of uh, Mr. Hallister, and. Um, likely might have some insight into pieces of um, import. So uh, he, he notes that. He also does mention that the longer we stay down there, the likelihood of us getting um, twisted and tainted uh, that it might, might be more li- likely. So um, Alright. Um... Uh, Maybe we... perhaps your your mind games might come into uh, uh, much more uh, value as you have uh, showcased with your um, your 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 spectral girlfriend thingy. She ain't my girlfriend, first of all. Yeah. And can we uh, can we review kind of the key points of that note there? Um, I. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump there in. There was a Jake, lot. Do you? Do, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Do you? I mean, this is up to you. You're the one who holds the thing. Are you fine, like, quote unquote, passing it around, like sharing it with the rest of the crew? So, yeah, if, if that's the case, I will just, I will just luck, show it to everyone. Me, uh, yeah, good luck reading it. It took me a little bit. To absolutely. Decide. And I want to point out that was intentional. I, though I did consider uh, get, doing like a here's the way it looks version and the here's just normal text version. The, the only the only oh. letter I really struggled with was the G. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but I thought it was fun. So everyone right. should have access to the note now. Where is it? Um, it's uh, under um, player handouts and under messages. It should be at the very bottom of your work, uh, your notes. Yeah. And if you guys don't mind, um, I like doing this type of shit, so I'm going to read through it. So, um, And we'll probably end tonight's session on this. So, okay. okay. Dear Ezra and Associates, I'm writing you with news that is dire, but should be well received, considering the already perilous nature of your quest. That nature also bids me be vague and brief, if for no other reason than the secrecy and safety of all involved. Your recent acquisition and delivery to our cause has borne much fruit. Unfortunately, there seems to be a dark rot upon the thing. Half the fruit is barren, bereft of use. The other half, though, has proven consumable if not palatable. We will continue to see what fruit is born and apprise you of the situation. Of note is the pervasiveness of a slick shadow. Ezra, you might be familiar with it. Our botanists have identified it as some trace corruption on the weave. All the more reason to continue your investigations. I understand full well that this is no quick and easy task. Please do know your persistence is appreciated, but be wary of spending too much time in dark places. The darkness has a tendency to rub off on you. Two last things that kept coming up over the course of our investigation. The Mad Goth's Castle and the Shadow in the Giant's Mind. We're not sure what to make of these yet, but they came up enough that I thought to warn you. There might be some connection there. Stay out of the shadows. The money lender. And it really, really hard, by the way, Jay, for me to not say, stay out of the shadows. Stay out of the shadows. (laughs) (laughs) It's It's a path of exile, fucking... Dumb shit reference. Shit posting over here. So. Alright. Um, Alabawana so warrior. That is the message that you guys get from Mert the Moneylender. 
Um, no names, but I mean, his moniker is very well known, right? Uh, I um, think he did a very good job of just saying everything he wanted to with not out without <laughs> actually saying anything. He's had a bit of practice over the years, <laughs> as you now realize he's over 150 years old. Oh, more than that, actually, uh, nearly over 200 years old, actually. Yeah, I was about to say, if he and Dernan were in the yeah. the Undermountain together, and the that's Day when... Day was in the shit. In the shit. All right, yeah, so I, everyone... I think, I think Ezra decided... No, you, I, I think you covered... I yeah, covered absolutely. pretty much everything, absolutely. Um, so good job Nothing on that. Nothing against you, but I had a horrible time trying to understand what you were telling me. <laughs> but that's sorry, fine. Sorry, dude. <laughs> so sorry, every... That's Ezra. Everyone should have access to that now, so yep. uh, feel free to peruse that and feel free to digest it and talk about it over the next week if you think you guys oh, yeah, find I, any I was... um, points of interest or, or what have you. Uh, we can see how that goes. Um, next week, so we're going to go ahead and end the, the session there, but next week, um, you guys are planning on staying up top for a large chunk of days. So please feel free to message me over the coming week with what your plans are. I do have a couple of things that are going to go on. So we will probably have some uh, sections that are actual role play. Um, and then we'll do all of your downtime activities, blah, 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 and go from there. Yes. Are we starting assuming we've had a long rest or are we starting as we go to bed? Uh... Because if I need to reset shit because we're going to be in the morning right away. Uh, yeah, we will be... Uh, nothing else is happening tonight as long as you guys are all okay with that, right? Good? We've had a long rest. I am okay with that. Everyone's good with starting the next session on the morning of the Feast of the Moon. Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay, we do it. Awesome. Let's do it! Alright, cool. Do it now. Do it good. I didn't get to show off the actual. I did it all like pretty on parchment with fucked up. That actually is really hard to read, by the way. Like I, I went yeah, through that very slowly easy. because I was like, I'm gonna stumble if I don't do this. <laughs> if I don't do this, I, like, I reading hard, hard, I can read it, but like it's not super quick. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So, I just thought I don't do a whole lot of like missive handouts to you guys, and I figured it would be I nice. Yep. That, that, that's up right up my alley. All right. Anyways, so we will go ahead and close out tonight's session there. I had a good time. I hope you guys uh, had fun. I'm and... looking forward, actually really looking forward to this uh, downtime um, segment. We'll see how it goes. Um, Until and... it ends up being three sessions and you're sick of our shit. Okay. If it's three sessions, that's <laughs> absolutely too much. Absolutely too much. All right. We have a goal, guys. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need you guys I mean, got, to send me no, no no I need you guys to send me a schedule, break out your days via hey, schedule. I, I sent you my list of what I need to do. I, work I on. saw that. But half the list is already gone now. No, no. Just, that's oh did just, oh no. did you? That's oh it's not more the other stuff. Never mind, my bad. <laughs> I only looked at the spells. <laughs> that's yeah. one thing I've sent you. You done goofed. Alright. Uh we'll go ahead and call it there. Have a good night, fun. guys. See you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Stay out there. Farewell. Stay out of the shadows. Stay out of the shadows. <laughs> nice.